Does your desktop surface look like this? Is it all cluttered with every single project that you've ever worked on? Can you never find anything? Or have you kept everything you've ever found on the internet right here in one space? Would you like to know how to separate all these projects so that you never lose a project again? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to have multiple desktops for your MacBook right here on this same computer. Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and today I'm going to show you how to have multiple uh, background surfaces for your MacBook. Now, the important thing to know is that what a background is or what a desktop is, is it's the same computer, but you're just going to have a totally different, totally cre clean screen to work on a project with so that your projects don't become cluttered. And you should know that this does take away some of the speed at which the Mac can perform if you have a whole lot of windows open. But if you have like two or three, it's really not going to affect you too much. Unless you're running like on a really old MacBook. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you don't want to run um, a lot of different uh, background screens um, or you're running an older computer, the easiest way to do it is to take four fingers on your trackpad and push up and that is going to separate each and every project that you're doing um, it will allow you to see everything that is on your desktop right now as it stands so that if there's one thing in particular that you wanted to grab you can easily uh, manage it so if I wanted to add, edit my calendar I would just click on my calendar and it would bring the calendar to the forefront if I wanted to, to edit this note right here I would just click on it and that would be at the forefront um, so if you're running an older computer this is the simplest way to do it now if you're running a, a newer computer or you want to have multiple backgrounds this is how you would go about it so you can do a couple of things um, you can push up with uh, three fingers and you're gonna see this little area right here and in this little area you see this right here this window this is that window that's all cluttered so if you come over here to the um, to the right you're gonna see this little add symbol on this little area thing here come up click on that it's going to open up another screen. So now we're going to take those same three fingers and swipe from the starting on the right side, swiping left, and that's going to bring you to a whole new surface. Okay, so now how do you get some of this stuff to over here? The easiest way to do that is to um, push up with three fingers again and then bring your mouse all the way to the top so that this bar opens up and then what you're gonna do is go back onto the main screen do you see where my mouse is right here probably should have used a bigger mouse um, so right here um, where the mouse is you're gonna click on what you want to bring over there so let's say I wanna bring my calendar over there to the other window I'm gonna click on it and hold and then swipe up and then just drag it into that other desktop like that and then let go so let's say I want to separate something else so I'm gonna open up another desktop and I'll put my system preferences over there so again I'm gonna click on it and hold so just one click and hold and then swipe it up and bring it on over there okay so now we'll push down with those three fingers and starting on the right and swiping left you'll see my calendar swipe again and you'll see the system preferences now if you want to get rid of um, one of your backgrounds or your desktops that you've got open all you have to do is find the one you want to get rid of and then you're going to see an X up here just click on that and then it will close that desktop and bring that but it's going to bring the open program back to your main screen. So in order to get rid of that, you're going to have to come in and manually command Q and quit. If you want to put something um, 
in up the top here without having to click over here. You can simply grab it and drag it and it'll open up its own desktop. So see, there's a couple of different ways to do that. The other thing I wanted to show you is, let's say you have um, multiple windows and you don't want to get them confused. What you can do is you can change the backgrounds of each of these so that each project has its own background so you don't get confused. Okay, so say I wanted to change this desktop background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click or I'm going to right click. So I'm going to take my two fingers and tap on the trackpad and it's going to open up this control menu or the right click menu as you guys might know it from PCs. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down to change desktop background. So I'll change this desktop background. Okay. And then I'll just close this. And that background will be different than that background. You see that's different. And so let's say I wanted to change this desktop background as well. I'm just going to get the cue out of there. And now these are completely different. And that's all you have to do. And if, like I said, if at any time you want to get rid of anything, just click on that X and it will disappear. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please check back here for more videos for the new MacBook user. Thank you very much for your time and for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.